Welcome to a video on editing and running Python code, as well as installing packages on Windows. In this video, we'll be looking at the basics you'll need for using Python for development on Windows. All links and this slideshow will be available in the description. For editing code, we can use any text editor, but as you might know, not all text editors are created equally. I recommend Notepad++ as it's simple, efficient and has syntax highlighting for many languages, and it's fully customizable. There is also many Python IDEs integrated development environments that have been made and have the code highlighting, IntelliSense and built-in Python interpreter. If you plan to use one of these, there is so many that you just need to try, try them out and find one that you like. Okay, so we can open up our code in Notepad++ by right-clicking and edit with Notepad++ after it's installed, obviously. And it will bring up our code and it has syntax highlighting for strings, variables, and it also has keywords. On Windows, there's many different ways to run your Python code. If you decide to use an IDE, it should provide a run button that will run your code for you. Alternatively, you can use the basic IDE called idle that comes with Python to run your code. You can open up any Python file with idle and click the run and then run module or the F5 button. So let's open up a file in idle and have a look. So the same file again, we can right click and edit with idle. And it will come up inside the idle IDE and we can run our code by clicking run, run module. And it will run our code. You can also run any script just by double clicking it. The downside to double clicking is that the program will close once it's finished. Finally, we can open up our command prompt and run the file from the command line by typing the file name. We can open up a command prompt anywhere by using shift and then right clicking. So let's jump over to this folder here and we can try running it by double clicking it and as you see it closes immediately. We can also hold down the shift key, right click and we can click on the open command window here and it will open up a command prompt for us. We can then run our file by typing in the file name. So it's called ztest.py. We run it and we get the output and the command prompt stays open. A very useful part of Python is the abundance of third party packages that we can use with our programs but we need to know how to install them on our Windows system. Installing Python packages manually can be a huge pain. Luckily, someone has written a program to do this for us called pip. Starting from Python 3.4, the pip tool comes by default and is located in the scripts folder of your Python directory. If you are using an earlier version of Python, you must download the getpip.py file from the PyPath website and run it and then you'll have pip downloaded. A link will be in the description. Now we need to know how to use pip. The pip.exe is located in the Python script subdirectory. We need to navigate there and run the pip program from the command line. Alternatively, you can add it to your computer's path environment variable. So let's check it out quickly and install the pypdf package. So I'll come over here and we go to the scripts folder and we've got the pip, pip 3.4 and pip 3. All of them do basically the same thing. So we can open up our command prompt by holding shift and right clicking, open command window here, and then we type pip, and then we can do install, and then the package that we want. So we want pi pdf, and the pdf is in all capitals. When we hit enter, it'll run pip, it'll find, find it, and it'll install it. I've already got it installed, so it says that it's already satisf satisfied. Okay. And we are done. Hopefully you now have a good idea of how to tackle editing and running Python on Windows, as well as have an understanding of how to get and use pip to install Python packages. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and or informative. Thanks for watching.